welcome. I am Shannon with Pick and Mood Vintage, and I just want to share with you the awesome experience I had at the IOD Flourish Conference. Um, of course, the anticipation was amazing. The minute I found out there's going to be a conference, I signed up, I booked my room, and I didn't have to do my flight right away, but I did get it done. I'm a nervous flyer, so anytime I have to fly, I've got to kind of pet myself up for it. I need to get a prescription from my doctor, and I have a at least one, maybe two alcoholic beverages on the flight out there, and I tend to just nervous eat. But I made it after a layover in Atlanta up to Sacramento. I made the conference. I'm super excited, Ooh, but I was really tired. So, of course, I go straight to my room after I check in. Thankfully, I was able to check in early, and I went to my suite. Um, it's Embassy Suites we stayed at, so... We had the kitchen, we had a living room, we had a bedroom, and then, of course, the bedroom, the bathroom. So, and it was really nice because when you walk in, it said, welcome, Shannon on the TV. So, anyway, I take a little nap because, you know, I'm jet lag. California's three hours behind us, so um, a little bit of time schedule. So, I take a nap, I get up, I go downstairs, and... Um, check in, get my swag bag, and then have to go to opening ceremony, which I'm super excited about because I don't really know anybody, but, you know, I do recognize people. Like, I've talked to a few people online, you know, um, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Immediately, though, as soon as we go in, I'm a total 100% introvert. I go in, I go to the back left, find my little seat all by myself, and I just sit there, <laughs> and I take it all in. And then all of a sudden... When it starts, the music is turned up and everybody starts dancing. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, and normally, under normal circumstances, I get my shop very comfortable there. I play music all the time. I'm always singing. I'm always dancing. Even if there's no music on, I'm singing. So for me to be in a situation like this and not be singing, not be dancing, is really weird. But um, that's just because I'm, like I said, a true introvert. So... I had to adapt. I just watched everybody and quietly tapped my leg with my hand. That was about it. And the next day, oh, where do I start? So, as I've already said, stated, I'm a true introvert. So, I go down, I have breakfast. I'm, I'm an early riser, so I'm up early, drinking my coffee. Get Go back up, get ready. Um... When it first starts, they start jamming the music, and they get everybody up. Let's dance. Uh, I'm like, oh, not again. <laughs> oh, so everybody's dancing, and then they skid on the microphone, and they're like, okay, everybody, look under your chair. If you have a star, you're a winner. You're going to win this. And I'm not standing. Um, the person next to me, that won't call her out. She wasn't standing either, but... As soon as they said, check on your chair, she got up and was looking. Everybody's looking at the chair. So normally I'm thinking, okay, pretty soon I'm going to hear, yay. And there's crickets. Nobody has said, like, I won. Oh, it's me. I got the star. Oh, la, la, la. And then I get a tap on my shoulder. And um, <laughs> Natasha and, uh, oh, oh, gosh, I forget her name. The other, the beautiful blonde, I think it's Sally's daughter, comes up and like, why aren't you looking in your chair? I'm like, oh, no. Instant. Um, scared. I was instant, like, no, 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 no. You know, kind of like when you're in elementary school, like fourth grade, and your teacher is having everybody read, going around up and down the rows, and all of a sudden it gets close to you, and you're like, okay, there's one, two, three, four, five people in front of me, so I've got to read this paragraph. Okay, so I'm ready. Okay, that's the kind of person like I am. I don't like that. I don't like to be called out, whatever. So guess what? I get up. I look under my chair. <laughs> I won. And the worst part is, and it's not even bad. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's just that when you're an introvert, you just don't like that kind of attention. So obviously I have to stand up. I'm like, <laughs> it's me. And then... They're like, come on up. I'm like, no. <laughs> and my table mates are going, go. I'm like, no. I'm like, oh, gosh. So the whole time I'm walking up to the stage, because mind you, I'm in the back. 
I'm walking up, I'm like, please don't trip. Oh my gosh, are, are my pants clean? Is my shirt tucked in? Um, so I'm just like, oh. And then I get up there and then um, Wayne, who is Sally's husband, is like, come on up. I'm like, oh. And they call me up on stage and I have to introduce myself and where I'm from and blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking, oh. And the, of course they go, how are you feeling? I'm like, embarrassed. And I was embarrassed. I was thankful. I was appreciative. But the introvert in me was just like, it does, you know, introverts, we don't like eyes on us. So I was just freaking out internally. And I felt so awful for saying that. But I survived. <laughs> um, so we did a few breakout sessions. They were amazing. And it was just great and inspirational to hear everybody speak. Um, not only did we meet, like I met Annie Sloan and Jonathan, but I also got to meet in person Royce, who I've talked to several times online, but never in person. So that was a joy. She's a lot taller than I thought. Um, and then I met Lexi Granger, who's also a very talented artist. She does a lot of watercolors and leather jewelry and other stuff like that. She was real sweet. <clears throat> um, and then I met a few girlfriends. Um, I connected with, let's see, um, first, like Missy, Missy Hay, and we are going to go hiking sometime. She's from Canada. She was awesome. She uh, does some IOD lives on the IOD Facebook page. So definitely check her out. She's on Mondays, like every other Monday. And um, let's see, then I met my little posse that I hung out with the whole time. <laughs> let's see, Michelle from Australia. And then we have Kim and Sunny. And then we met Leslie. So they were just so much fun. We had a good time and we would go to dinner. We'd hang out at the bar, not at a hotel. Um, <laughs> a lot of good stories there, but we won't go into those. I'd have to say though, one of the best parts of this Flourish conference was we were shown the new quarter two release. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is amazing. But also they announced that they're going to be doing some collaborations, one with the Annie Sloan and the other with Debbie of DIY Paint. The last night, my husband flew out and he joined me. We were supposed to go to Napa for our 25th anniversary, uh, 2020 during COVID. So we had, we couldn't go. So since I was going all the way to California, so close to Napa, he decided to fly out and meet me. So we spent the day in Sacramento and we toured, we toured around. We looked at everything there. It was just such a beautiful little quaint town. The town was just super cute and lots of roses everywhere. And um, I found, uh, as we're walking around, there was a Zoltar. And if you've ever seen the movie Big, you know what I'm talking about with Zoltar. So of course I had to get my fortune read. So that was really fun for me. And then we drove, caught it, we were out to Napa and spent a couple days out there and we went on the wine train and the wine train was amazing. The food was amazing, the people were friendly. And of course the wine was pretty good too, but that was, um, it was definitely worth the trip out there. So I was gone for just about a week. Well, I hope you enjoy the video of my time in California at the IOD Flourish Conference.